breaks from Letizia, who scored against Queen's Park Rangers at Rangers Stadium and has scored again here for Southampton. Sinton takes, Sinton scores! by Wilkins. Well, Southampton giving Ferdinand time to pick up the pass and Justin Channing! What a return to the Rangers side! It's there! Middle screen front! A goal from the skipper Alan Kernigan. Jimmy Phillips corner Turn in at the near post. Here's Andrew Impey. Les Ferdinand. Impey again. Sinton to his left. Channing here just behind him. Impey stolen some space inside the box. Three waiting beyond the far post. Sinton's cross won't reach them. Chris Morris sort of that. Wilkins. Second chance for Sinton. Still three in the box. Ferdinand's there, and Ferdinand has scored. And now gone, and Les Ferdinand's persistence produces an equaliser for Queen's Park Rangers. Andy Sinton's curling cross from the left-hand side, and Ferdinand just made it his. Spectacular header. A real centre-forwards goal for one of the best centre-forwards in the Premier League at the moment. White, Slaven, chance now for Tommy Wright, it's 2-1 to Middlesbrough, and within a minute of Queen's Park Rangers equalising, Tommy Wright has put Middlesbrough back in front. Penrice, hopped away from Derek White, good work by Penrice, and he's got his reward. Queen's Park Rangers have come back to equalise again. It's Gary Penrice's first goal since last February. Brian Horn, the Middlesbrough goalkeeper, will be a little disappointed with his part in it. As I guess will, will Derek White for letting Penrice just squirm away from him. And somehow the shot squirmed through Horn and Penrice has equalised. 2-2. Two, two. So with six minutes remaining, Middlesbrough will have a free kick in a promising position. Promising enough for Alan Kernigan to venture forward again. It's in towards him, but it was Falconer who came round the back. And for the third time in the game, Middlesbrough take the lead. And will that one be the killer goal? With quiet beginnings, it's blossomed into a real cliffhanger. Sinton with a free kick. Run away off Maddox for Wilkins. Holloway. The charging in. It's got off the crossbar from MP. And somehow Middlesbrough have smuggled it away. Sinton's got tumbling penalty. Well, if you like drama, this is the place to be. Queen's Park Rangers denied an equaliser in the last minute by a coat of paint immediately get a chance for another reprieve from the spot. It was Andy Sinton who was tumbled, and Andy Sinton it will be to take the crucial penalty after Impey had gone so close. Stoppage time, Sinton versus Horn, 3-3. Three, three. And Queen's Park Rangers just won't lie down. Three times they've gone behind, three times they've recovered. And that is surely the final word on a fine afternoon's entertainment on Loftus Road. Sinton, well hit! Well, undoubtedly the shot of the match so far. Andy Sinton, who hit a similar effort 
the score in Manchester against City in Rangers' first game of this season. And that had Schmeichel's heart beating much faster. Here's Sinton. Penrise, a touch, Impey. And Penrise! Well, by far the most difficult save that either goalkeeper's had to make. It came by Peter Schmeichel from Gary Penrise. Some more sophisticated style from Rangers. Impey cleverly flicked it back. Penrise placing the goal in the better position. And Schmeichel refused to be overpowered. We came here last year 1-4-1. And all of a sudden the players thought, yes, we can. We can win at other places. And we've carried it on here today. I honestly felt today we lost a little bit of that belief in the second half. We sat back in there. We didn't really feel threatened by United, but we didn't really threaten them that much either. And from our point of view, I think had we have put them under slightly more pressure, we may have got a, a more favourable result. Yes, a note of self-belief from Ray Wilkins. Rangers really could compete with the best at home and away. Still only one defeat in 10 games, an excellent couple of months. Away from the Premier League for a moment and the result of our last video competition, we asked you to name QPR's best 11 since 1970. Jerry Francis was going to pick it, but due to the recent birth of son Adam, congratulations to Jerry, he handed over the task to Tony Ingham, who of course has been involved at the club even longer. This is the side that Tony came up with. Phil Parks in goal, a back four of Dave Clement, Frank McClintock, Paul Parker and Clive Wilson. Great midfield, Jerry Francis, Ray Wilkins and Andy Sinton. What about this for the attack? Les Ferdinand, Stan Bowles and Rodney Marsh. We didn't ask you to name substitutes, but how about these for consideration? David Seaman in goal, David Bardsley and Dave Thomas. And look at the players not selected. The Morgan Twins, John Hollins, Don Masson, Dave Webb, Roy Wegerly, Ian Gillard, Don Givens, Terry Venables and the late Mick Leach just shows the strength of Queen's Park Rangers over the past 20 years or so. Back now to the Premier League and three games in October. We start with the visit of Spurs to Rangers Stadium. Peacock is back, but Peacock's lost it. Golden chance for Barnum, it comes across, and it's gone in! Tottenham have scored! Teddy Sheringham scrambling it in. Penrice, Wilkins, cross comes over, Sinton's there, Holloway, it's gone in, Holloway! And scored for Rangers! Ian Holloway! Silence is taught to Motspur. They forward, flag stays down, and rightly so. Penrice now, inside the area, lays it out to Bailey, who'll have a crack. Still inside the area. Comes again to Holloway. And now to Sinton. Tottenham in trouble. Cross comes over. And it's got in! It's a goal, Ray Wilkins! 2-1! What a beautiful goal from Ray Wilkins! Comes across to Sinton. In the area, Sinton, it comes across, and it's three! 3-1! Three, 3-1! One. Three, one. Gary Penrice scores and tears Tottenham apart. Wilkins again. Lovely, accurate ball from Wilkins to Bardsley. Now it's with Bailey. Bardsley again, playing it through, lovely dummy. Penrice! Oh! 4-1! That was a magnificent goal! Sutton might just have got in behind Peacock here, who's tugging away at him, and Chris Sutton goes down, and Norwich City have a penalty. Against 